Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Topic Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Topic Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is Servant, where the bond servant? The love for the Father. With this video I have to address a few points. There are many people who are saying that the people who are left behind, left behind in Christ, I'm not talking about the lost people, who are not belonging to the kingdom, nor do I talk about the sleeping churches. I talk about the left behind people in Christ, the harvest workers. They say, they claim that these people were not ready because they were not taken to the third heaven. This is a completely wrong understanding. On the contrary, what the Lord has said is that the servants will be rescued. It is a mission of mercy when they will be taken out, because the enemy was too strong for them. So the Lord came and removed them, as he is doing with the children, the innocent ones. It's a mission of mercy when you will be removed to the third heaven. And the one that will continue on the earth to serve the Father as never before, to walk as the images of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they have changed then from being a servant to become a bond servant. And what is the difference between a servant and a bond servant? When the master calls them and set the servants free, as it will be with the escape of the innocent, when heavens will open, when the master comes to set the servants free, then there are a few of them who volunteer and say, Master, I love you so much that I will continue to serve you. And these people are called bond servants. They are the ones who are set free, who could go away, who could reach the third heaven, but say, no, I want to serve you even more. And the master will bestow on these bond servants much far and greater rewards than for the ones who are trying to escape, who are running away from the service, from their work and who are going to the third heaven. Do we see that in the scripture? Oh yes, we see. Let's go there. Let's go to, to Second Esther's chapter 13, verses 6 to 20. For as I consider it in my mind, alas, for those who will be left in those days, those days are the end times, and still more, alas, for those who are not left, for those who are not left will be sad because they understand the things that are reserved for the last days, but cannot attain them. But alas for those also who are left, and for that very reason, for they shall see great dangers and much distress, as the harvest workers will, as the stream shows, yet it is better to come into these things, though incurring peril, than to pass from the world like a cloud. And that is for the ones that will be taken out, pass through the cloud and go to the third heaven, and not to see what will happen in the last days. Why, brothers and sisters, why do we see that in the scripture? Because when you start to serve the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit even more during the end times, then you will get greater rewards. It is not that you are not ready, that your garment is not clean. All this is not true. Of course you could go with them into the third heaven and you could remain a servant and be taken out of the troubled waters into the third heaven with the children together. But you said, no, I volunteer. I become a bond servant. I become the one that will serve the Father as never before. I will stand here. I will go through the peril times in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I will continue to bring in the harvest of the ages because the Lord has called me even before I was born. And at the end, when you stand in paradise, on, before the throne of God, then the Father will tell you, well done, well done, my true bond servants, well done, because you have shown your love for me, and you will re receive these rewards. And these rewards will not be given to the people who are in the third heaven, because they haven't 
followed that path. They have not remained on the world to serve the kingdom and to walk as the image of the Lord. And that is even more so for the 144,000 who will then be sealed at Mount Zion and will then continue even the path into the trumpet tribulation from where they will have access now from Mount Zion to the earth and vice versa. They will even receive greater rewards because they will continue to serve the Lord in very, very troubled times. So there is a great difference, brothers and sisters, between a servant and a bond servant. The bond servant is a voluntary service towards the Father, towards the Master, the same as Jesus has done. It was voluntary and he was never stopping. Even until death he is following it and the bond servant will do the same. Not because he is, uh, he is bound by any contract to the Master, but because of love for the Father, because he wants to serve him more and more. That's the reason why you see the second Esther chapter 30 that is written. It is better for them to remain and to serve the kingdom of God than to pass through the clouds to the third heaven. So whoever you outside there and claim that we who are remaining into the harvest work are not worthy to go, you should be ashamed because that is not the truth. The truth is that we are standing for the kingdom. And it's you who are escaping. We are standing for the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. If we continue on the earth, we are not afraid of peril. We are going through that and we will bring in the harvest of the ages. And because without any volunteers, who will go into the fields? Who will bring forth the harvest? If everyone is only said, oh, I want to run away from this world. No, that only shows that you will not be able to stand. You have not volunteered. You are not fulfilling your duty. You become a bond servant. You are set free. And through the mercy of the Lord, he will take you out of troubled waters because the enemy was too strong and you could not handle it. And then you will be taken with the children. The children escape is also an act of mercy by the father to take them out, to protect them. Then you will be taken into the large place that is the third heaven. But do not expect rewards for that. Do not expect that you are the ones that are, that are cherished in heaven. The ones that will continue on the earth to go through, but serving the Lord and bringing in the harvest to Mount Zion, there will be rewards on Mount Zion. And then for the 144,000 continuing in the trumpet tribulation will be even greater rewards. Because they are serving the Lord, they are serving the Master, they are serving the Father, God Almighty, with all of their hearts and with a full love. That is the difference between the servant and the burnt servant. That is the difference between the ones who are shouting for, running away, escape now, and the ones who are saying, and we are going to do kingdom work, and we are serving the Father as never before. That is a di difference, and there is a huge difference in between there. And rewards will be given to them that will continue to serve. Go to that time to receive all the blessings that the Lord has for them. As long as you stand on the path with the kingdom and bring in the harvest. Return the lost sheep to the house of the Father, to the kingdom of God. I hope you understand now and that you do not listen to people who are telling you, Oh, because you will not go to the third heaven, you have a failure. You are not. There is a difference between the lost, the sleeping churches, and the harvest workers. That we understand. But if you are Rachel or a Leah who have volunteered to, to become a harvest worker, then you are become a bond servant and you are serving the Father through love and not because you are a failure. That is a wrong understanding, brothers and sisters. The Lord put it on my mind this morning to talk about this today, so that you have an understanding that you are even doing much greater work than the people who are going to the third heaven. Is it not written in Psalm 18 that the people who are crying for an escape are the ones who will be overwhelmed by the enemy, who will not be able to stand when the flood of the enemy is coming. And therefore the Lord shows mercy and removes them from that water and takes them to the large place where they will be protected. That is the third heaven. 
So it's not about being the bride. It is not about being uh, special righteous people. It's not about being making their garments so white that you are uh, 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 that you are the ones that can go to the third heaven. Far so. You are the ones that will be rescued by the mercy of the Lord. Because you are not the ones that shows your heart that you can finish a race strong, that you can continue as a bond servant for the Lord. We will all be set free at the same time. We all have a choice to go to the, to the third heaven at the same time when the heavens will open, when Jesus will come. But then you see the difference between a servant and a bond servant between the ones that will serve the Lord and do kingdom work and the ones that are just looking for an escape to run away from this world. That is the difference. I hope you understand it now. And do not listen to anyone who tells you, oh, you will be left behind because you are not worthy or because you are not, not righteous or because you have not cleaned your garment and your wedding dress is filthy. No, that is all a lie. That is not true. On the contrary, when you continue to serve the Lord, you will become a better servant. You will become a bond servant. Get the understanding that you are called for something special. The Lord is taking you onto a mission that you will accomplish. It looks like an impossible mission, but you will do it. And you will finish the race strong because the Lord has chosen you. Because he has looked into your heart and he sees that you are strong that you will not falter, that you will not go to the right or to the left, but that you will re uh, uh, that you will reach the finishing line in time and in good hearts and with a lot of offerings, meaning with a lot of harvest, a lot of lost sheep will be brought to you back to the kingdom. You are called for such a time as this and you are not a failure. On the contrary, you are a bond servant, the best the kingdom has to offer. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.